Dr. Medea Saeed. I am a board certified integrative holistic family physician and I'm coming to you live from my house. Yay! So a little bit more about us. And this is Abdullah. <laughs> he is my 11 year old. So we educate the world about health and healing. Where did we just come back from? We just came back from Iowa. Yeah. So Iowa, I spoke at the amazing Terry Walls conference and I know so that was so much fun. I met um, such great people there like uh, Dr. Deanna Minich and Dr. Darren Ingalls, like it's amazing. Then Dr. Terry Walls who heals multiple sclerosis. So, so many amazing things. And, um, and we talked great topics and we have some fun things coming on. Yay. So this is my, um, this is our Facebook, one regular Wednesday Facebook Live, but we had to do it a little early because of the fact that, as you can tell, we have swim classes that we need to make up because we will be going out of town Friday, and so therefore they'll be missing their normally scheduled classes. So we wanted to spend the next 20 minutes because then we got to leave by 3.45 or 4.45 Eastern Standard Time. And we wanted to discuss, you know, first, no matter what you're dealing with, digestive issues, eczema, acne, severe fatigue, joint pain, allergies, asthma, depression, anxiety, no matter what you're dealing with, the underlying root cause is inflammation. Inflammation. So tell me, Abdullah, what kind of things that we have to do, what kind of things, pieces in our lifestyle do we have to focus on to lower inflammation so you can heal not one of these symptoms, but then all of them simultaneously? Yeah, we have to focus on um, the root cause. Yes. And then um, stress. Mm-hmm. Like what do we have to do? Like you have, like um, meditation. Yeah. And then you have to focus on like sort of fixing up uh, your gut. Mm-hmm. Um, like eat like detoxification mm-hmm. and um, sleep and all that kind of stuff. social health social and health. spiritual health. So so many uh, cool cool things that we need to now focus on, right? Mm-hmm. So what do we have to do on spirituality? For spirituality, you have to, um, like, meditation. And gratitude. gratitude. And then sleep, social health, spiritual health. And then we have is digestive health and detoxification. If we can put our body back into balance, you can heal not one of these symptoms, but then all of them simultaneously. And that is what is so amazing. And again, all these renowned doctors, like we just came back from the Dr. Terry Walls conference, Amazing, you must go, especially if you have a chronic con- uh, autoimmune disease. It's a must attend. And um, she has it every year. But what's so cool is that, guess what? She also focuses on these basics. And this is where just focusing on these basics, tons of vegetables, detoxification, optimizing your sleep, your social health, your spiritual health, your stress management, all of these pieces are critical to lowering, lowering inflammation. And because inflammation is the root of all these chronic conditions, guess what? When you lower inflammation, you heal not one of these symptoms, but then all of them simultaneously. Oh, I know, it's so awesome. So usually after people do that type of approach, I have them again to focus on all these basics. Digestive health and detoxification and the four S's, stress, sleep, social, and spiritual health. If they're still not feeling better, Abdullah, what is other things that we can start looking into? Well, you can also like um, an extra exercise physiologist and uh... yeah, so like exercise, making sure that you're um, not you know incorporating you know exercise into your daily routine and other um, making sure that you have the appropriate plan for you. That's really important, and to work with a specialist. Either it's like a chronic disease specialist, a functional medicine doctor, either we can be working with um, a nutritionist, an exercise physiologist, like Abdullah said. So all these specialists, because you want to create a team approach. You want to make sure that you find those people that are in your, like, in your ring. And that no matter what is going on, because maybe you're exercising a little bit too much, because again, too much exercise can also cause problems. So we have to figure out, so you have to go to a specialist to make sure that you are doing what best works for you and your body. 
Then once we've optimized all that, then we look into chronic infections. So about like three months is what I normally have people go on all of these basic things and if they're still not feeling better or they're, um, they're like for example, they're on the GAPS diet or WALS protocol and still not feeling better, and then what do we do? We go through and really in depth talk about it, could there be chronic infections. So I really wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit more because there's certain microbes that are associated with certain autoimmune conditions. And a functional medicine doctor will be able to tell you and they'll be able to test for these microbes that can be associated with your individual condition. So could you have a chronic infection or a co-infection with one of, one, of, one of these organisms, depending on the type of infection, again, depending on your individual situation, the practitioner can then treat you either with like a combination of food, nutraceuticals, or pharmaceuticals, depending on what is actually going on with you. So leaky gut, remember leaky gut, stress, inflammation, and all of these factors disrupt your balance of your immune system. And, um, and as we discussed before, and you can go back through my videos to go through that in a little bit more detail, but all of these, like if your body is imbalanced with obviously leaky gut, stress, inflammatory foods, that can then disrupt the balance of your immune system and can reactivate a dormant infection or trigger an immune system. Again, a functional medicine doctor is really important to help treat that specific type of infection. And to actually defeat that infection, you have to first figure out what it is. Again, it could be bacteria, virus, fungus. All of those pieces can play a role. Woo! We got everybody here. And, um, and so could it be an overgrowth of bad bacteria? All that can be played a role and then needs to be addressed and corrected. So to defeat those infections, it's really important to combine gut healing with the right type of Hello. diet and supplements. I got a party going on here now. And um, and so again, you need to talk to your specific doctor. <laughs> so first, we're gonna quickly talk about the viruses. This chronic infections can actually hide in your body as a dormant state. <laughs> as a dormant state, and can become active and trigger an immune. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this with this. Can actually trigger an inflammatory response. So we're gonna talk about, you guys, can we all sit over here while mama talks to everybody about infections? right? And so, um, so Abdullah, what are the different types of viruses that can be play a role? Well, some of them are um, herpes. Um, State, like herpes like, one and two, two and even six. Six. And then um, once you're infected, it can stay in your body for life. <laughs> and then Abdullah, what is another one? Hello. Another one is the EBF, EBV, which is Epstein-Barr virus. Yeah. And because remember for Epstein Barr, so let's go ahead and talk about that because actually Epstein Barr, Abdullah is what? Um, is considered to be um a prevalent uh virus in most developed countries, affecting up to ninety percent, up ninety ninety five percent of in individuals between before the age of twenty. Yeah, and it's actually. <laughs> and actually, it's also known as the human herpes virus 4 and herpes. 8. Which What's also, a herpes? Also, it's a virus. Oh. <laughs> We're talking a little bit more technical. Uh, them, what the what? He knows a little bit more. Watching quick. Yeah, Mariam is I like Asma. Well. Yeah, all these people are watching. JC. Hi, JC. Hi, Nilofer. And um, so there's mononucleosis, which is again um, short uh, what, for the Epstein Barr what virus. What will you go by? Okay. Uh, bye bye. And then here, <laughs> so the love what virus is so, like? Researchers have shown that this the Epstein Barr virus is actually associated with chronic conditions. Actually, in Azan, so which like, one? I um, mean, yeah, Abdullah, you tell. Me. So one of them is Abyss. Multiple sclerosis. Yes, and we, that's why we just type came from one a... diabetes. We yeah. going hotel. Okay. Um, type one di diabetes. Uh, celiac disease. Inflama inflammatory bowel no, disease. Mm -hmm. Um, no, Crohn's disease, and uh, so all, that all kind of, of stuff. these different types of bugs. 
right? And so what's really important Hello, then, my dear. Right? Huh? What are you doing, buddy boy? Hi, for funny boy so then uh, so then we have is Abdullah what are the actual Hi, symptoms that Gigi. could be here <laughs> it's a little I told you we never know what's gonna happen so Zen come over here and you tell me Can I what are the symptoms that are associated with Epstein Barr virus um a muscle weakness yes and what else skin rash yes Sore throat and swollen. Oh, um, figure with fatigue, fatigue, fatigue. Uh, fever, fever, sore throats, muscle weakness, skin sore rashes, sore throat and um, swollen glands in the neck. Oh, and also experience diarrhea and ear infections. Awesome, 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 awesome. So these are the different things. Mama. Gossip. Can you please sit for a second while I finish this? I really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, so then we have is, so that is one of the key pieces. Again, if you really want to talk to your doctor, you want to make sure that you order, um, you know, the, the EBV or the Epstein-Barr activity. And that is ask your doctor to check the EBV. EAD, IgG, which is an early antigen, the EBV, VCA, IgM. So I have like an entire list in my book. So that really goes in because that will tell you exactly if it's present or and which kind is present. So all of those different things. And the other things that let's go ahead and talk about this. Again, once you start treating this, start, people start feeling better in about two to four weeks. But Abdullah, what kind of things can be used? Can I move this over here so then I can get Abdullah and me a little bit better? So Abdullah, what kind of things can be used to treat this? So it's like all lorsidin. Yeah. And what is that derived from? It's derived from coconut oil and humic acid. Yeah, and then humic acid can also be used. Yeah. And then what is L-lysine can be used for what? For taken for prevention and... Yeah. Yeah. And then there's also tons of different like other herbals, Herb. herbal things that we can do like lotrimin, cordyceps, olive leaf extract, and then you can also add what NAC, NAC. what else? Um a thymic po protein, protein, adaptogens, what vitamin else? Vitamin D, vitamin C, all, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, or, all that for additional support. Yes. So, and then the other thing that could be going on is that we have a bacterial infection. So the bacterial infections that I don't know if Abdullah will be able to understand all these, but the, it's um, it's basically like H. pylori. Do you have like a SIBO? You want to check for breath test. You again H. pylori. There's like like breath test, stool test, blood test. There's chlamydia that can be used. There's Bartonella, Myco, Mycobacterium, Avum species. Um, you know. So then there's and you can diagnose those. You would go again to your different special Mom, practitioners. You're really looking for that. And we eat probiotics, Abby. Yeah, we do take probiotics all the time. And um, and then for that we can do Abdullah. What would you be able to do for the for those bacterial infections? Well, you can uh, you like you'll need a combination of treatments that includes uh, uh, probiotics, antibiotics, antibiotics, probiotics, caprylic acid, enzyme um enzyme supplements that you yeah. Have to, yeah. So those are really cool things that could be. Um, helping and then we can also then optimize how can if we do have H. pylori like Abdullah what can a common what can we use we can use a combination of uh, a combination of zinc um berberine 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 all, a citrate yeah. yeah all of those mastic gum, gum. and then even again, oil and pulling and the oil pulling and all of that oil oil and 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 yeah all of that will help so these are just simple things that we wanted to just discuss with you because again, um, so we have bacterial infections and then there's fungal infections. Abdullah, what kind of fungal infections could play a role? And also the bad bugs, the, the bad bugs, the good bugs inside the arm. Um, the bad and the bad area will get more sick when you sleep and then... You yes. Drink water before you sleep in. The, okay, so we learned. Okay, so we. I yeah. guess now that we're going to talk about bacterial infections, oh, we're going to learn about SIBO from. Um, we're going to learn about SIBO.
from Iman. Iman is going to teach us when a villa can... Is, can you tell us what small intestinal bacterial overgrowth is? Yes. So it that is... Either, either, oh, either, 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 you know how So can you tell us what happened? So there's small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's good bugs that grow oh, where? Good bug. Like bad area. And then when so you it's a good the bugs, water... That, before the, um, so this is why you it? never drink water before, before you go to sleep or a lot of water until you keep your full belly full. Why? Because it can turn those bad bugs. Good washed, bugs will go into the bad wrong area. And because they were washed with good bugs in the wrong area. In the wrong area. When you sleep. It when was you like, sleep. It fall down the yeah. bad area. It, it will go into the small intestine. So therefore, it will lead to something called small that intestinal that bacterial overgrowth. No, right? And so that is one thing. Okay, now Abdullah will tell us also uh, about fungal uh, infections. So Abdullah, what kind of fungal uh, infections is common with people uh, with autoimmune uh, conditions? Um, it's... A systematic, a systematic um, infection with yeast. Yes. Um, which is also called candida. Yeah, candida. 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 Uh, candida. And basic. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then it's also important because candida can. How can you check that, Abdullah? It's always important. With to a, test. like a blood test and stool analysis <laughs> for IgG and IgM. And then we have is then um, how you can treat it with diflucan and nystatin. Um, and then there's also parasitic infections that you can look for. Again, I mean, there's so many different things that, and then I have this a huge, I have a perfect, I have a chart in my book in the autoimmune disease section that really goes through in a little bit more detail. So that was a quick overview. And then we talked about small, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, right? Because for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, what, what could be the treatment of that? So the treatment is first you want to make sure for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth you want to make sure that there is no uh, water before I'm sleeping. Yeah, so don't drink a lot of water before sleeping. Yeah. And then you got to stop taking your I would stop fermented vegetables. I would start taking more uh, bone broth. Bone broth. I would. And healthy food. And lots of yummy oh, food. Yeah, lots of healthy food. Healthy food. Yes, lots of healthy food. And we want to make sure that you're taking Thrive or Thrive or another spore forming probiotic. I would stop the other probiotics. And then try to find, like, do a breath test to really figure out what you're dealing with. Are you dealing with what kind of species are you dealing with? Um, that, um, you know, biocidin, olive leaf. There's so many different things that can then help treat that. <laughs> Small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. But again, you should go to your doctor to get tested. So I hope that helps. I know it was a little chaotic, everybody. Uh, 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 um, goodbye. Bye bye. Everybody so watch through. Goodbye. Ooh. So goodbye, everybody. Let's go ahead and go through some of these. Who's so, super cute? Yeah, San, Sa, Sanjida said you're someone super cute. Hey. And then um, they're all saying Sophie. Sophie, mommy says hi. So hi, Sophie, mommy. And then uh, Sandija Ali. Sorry, you guys. So I can, if you guys want to, uh, obviously it was a little crazy with four of them all here and yeah. have to go swimming. They're mm -hmm. super excited to go swimming. So that's why they're all in their swimming clothes. And so I, I will go, talk to you guys. Go underwater <laughs> and him under your to get the Oh, yes. Absolutely. And also, and also, the last thing. What did you just uh, have as a snack right now? What was your snack right now? You want to tell everybody your snack? Yes. Yes. Oh. What was your snack, Gossam? What did you just eat for snack? Uh, Imad, uh, Imad and Zan. They ate three packets of this each. Seaweed. You guys like seaweed? Yeah. I like yes. seaweed. But too. seaweed also, um, it's seaweed. Seaweed good for you. Not that good. No, it's very good. It has um, iodine in it. Yeah, yes, iodine. iodine. Is, it's too much. Um, it has a lot of like, um, salt. I dab, It's like I, seaweed from the ocean and salt. Yeah, it's good. I, I get, that's the one that we eat. The one with olive oil. I, yeah, we have Mama, the ones. Mama, Mama, the we go and we bought five of them. We got five of them. We got lots of them. <laughs> for a treat, me we got dried mangoes. We got five. Oh, of them. for a treat, we got dried mangoes. And we got that. From both who foods because we have to go to um Vancouver. Yes. We went to and we live at bowling stores to get stuff. Yes. From healthy stuff and healthy stuff. 
healthy stuff and bad stuff for treatment. So I'm going to head out, you guys, because as you can tell, they are super yeah. talkative and super excited yeah. to go swimming. I don't go underwater. I go yeah. I go I'll underwater. talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Mwah. If you have any questions, please let me know because I know it was a little chaotic.